A Garland man recorded video of an Addison officer breaking his car window during a traffic stop. And now he says he's looking forward to his day in court. Fox 4 News broke this story earlier today. Liana Zoga back in Addison tonight. She's talked with the driver about the uh, stop and why he refused to follow any of the officer's orders. Deanna. Yeah, and that driver's name, Steve, is Scott Richardson. He faces charges of driving with an invalid license, with an expired plate, and for refusing to hand over his ID when an Addison officer pulled him over for speeding. Richardson says he wants a jury trial. He intends to represent himself in court over this traffic stop that he recorded and uploaded to YouTube. I need your supervisor. I am asking for I, I am asking him for his supervisor. This moment comes four minutes into a traffic stop along Midway Road on a Saturday morning in Addison. How, is? How are you doing today? Can I get your name? I'm Shook with the Addison Police Department. Can I get your badge your number? License and proof of insurance. Can I get your badge number? It's 210. Can I see your driver's license and proof of insurance? Okay. Uh, let me ask you a question. As a man, what right do you have to stop another man? The voice you hear belongs to 49-year-old construction worker Scott Richardson, who questions the officer's authority to stop him. Speeding in and of itself is not a crime. And won't give the officer his information. Why not just hand over your license? Why just give them everything? Why give up your rights when you don't have to? Why? Why? Sir, I need to see your driver's license and proof of insurance, please. In the video, we can hear the officer ask for Richardson's driver's license and registration 17 times. He asked for Richardson's name at least twice. Were you trying to provoke the officer? No. What did you expect him to do when, when you started speaking to him? Recognize my rights? The right to the right to not have to give up my papers. This is not Nazi Germany. Addison police tell us the officer's demands were lawful and note that the officer warned the driver he would break the window. Sir, the same thing. I need name? you to stand down and get your open your window now or I'm going to bust it out. Now you're now you're going. OK, I need you to call and I need you to get your supervisor Sir, out here. I need your supervisor sure. out here. I need your supervisor. I am asking for I I am asking him for his supervisor. I am asking you for your supervisor. The officer opens okay. the driver's side door and arrests Richardson. In total, Richardson says the experience cost him around $800 and he wasn't even cited for the original stop, going 50 in a 40 mile per hour zone. He says he would, if faced with the choice, do it all over again. Ever bit of it. I would do it all over again because I was right. And if I'm right, I'm not going to back down. If you're right, do you back down? Do you? Who's going to back down if you're right? So while this video is getting a lot of attention today, it caught our attention today. It was actually recorded back on May 2nd. Richardson uploaded it to his own YouTube channel where it's really just been buried there for weeks now until today. Back to you. All right, a, a judge will decide who's right or who's wrong here eventually. Uh, Deanna, I'm curious, the way Richardson talks and kind of handles himself, I, I've heard that before from a lot of cop watchers, uh, members of cop watch. Is he associated with a cop watcher group? You know, he says that he is not. Uh, I did uh, look over his YouTube channel. I've seen some other interactions that he's recorded with police, but none as contentious as this one, or at least I wouldn't describe them that way. In this particular traffic stop, he says he was on his way to work. He was pulled over and decided to record because he says he does not trust the police. And he also says that he would uh, advise anyone to record police when they see them out doing their work. Back to you, Steve. Okay, Deanna Zoga and Addison, thank you.